neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Tackle made at the 24. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. run to the outside you know great effort here by the ball carrier but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time <laughs> looking for the corner and he's taken down at the 36 yard line now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And down he goes to 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 50-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. defense all around right here. The corner plays a very disciplined zone and steps right in front of the throw. From the 28-yard line, first down. At about the 29-yard line. He lets it go. That's incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. Third down now. And they get to the 18. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go. Win. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. LSU could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good! A 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 50. Boy, this is a huge play by the offense, and I got to go back to what the defense dialed up. They brought pressure which means the offensive line's got to do a good job of communicating to give the quarterback enough time to be able to make the throw. And they did exactly that. They protected him, gave him the time that he needed, and he was able to take advantage of it. First and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. Throws it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From the 26 yard line, first down. Easy, easy. And he's taken down at the 23 yard line. The halfback with a carry. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They come out in a five wide set. Make the stop around the 13-yard line. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offense coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. Makes it to the 12-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From the 12-yard line, second down. to the tight end. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Arkansas! Tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. a great tackle at the 40-yard line. We played one. The Razorbacks lead 
set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. down at about the 43 yard line from their own 43 yard line second down good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play a quarterback in the gun with five receivers. There's a strike complete. Excellent open field tackle. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Tackled and producing pickup. Here's the eighth play of the series. Again with the run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. It. He's in space. Inside the 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Toss out right and he's met for a loss. This is the 11th play of this drive. Touchdown, Tigers! Offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. The LSU. LSU is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. It's the tailback. Runs it left for a decent game. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30. Makes it to the 44. six-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. He 
he's tackled at the seven. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. He gets out to about the six yard line. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. Quick throw to the tight end. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Arkansas to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. <laughs> Completely stopped immediately. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. made around the 37 yard line that makes it first and ten. first down 10 yards to go ball on their own 37 gives it off and they got to him before he could get back to the line these guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. decisions than that. He should have known that there was no room to squeeze that ball in there. From the 47-yard line, first down. Arkansas is up four. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Just throws this one away. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. 
Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Looks over the middle of the back. Got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Incomplete pass. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 21-10, Razorback. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team dead in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to, but a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up. Try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make them move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times, you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. So they're just about set to get the game going again. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he tackles him hard at the 33. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it so it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of seven. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pressure coming. Slides down. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. They're about four yards away here on second down. three-yard line. Game of 12 on the play. First down. 
from the 33-yard line. It's first down. On the ground with the tailback. And they push him out at the 32. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. And he is drilled at the 16-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Two times, two times. Go down, go down. Check three, check three, check three. Keep the center to the right. Black five, five, black five. And up. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 15. the stop at about the seven yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Arkansas. He hits the PAT. A 10 play, 75 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our score 28 10. The Razorbacks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll go Brown. And he's taken down at the 38. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Defensive lineman. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who corralled it for his side. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down around the 45-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. After a decent run up the gut. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 25. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Caught, and that's a first down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. 
first and goal. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Players in there, got it, touchdown. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He makes the PAT, a six-play, 53-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. Well, that'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. I'm scared. My five, my five. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. We head to the fourth quarter, and we didn't see this coming. The Razorbacks are up big. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. He steps up. And he's hit before it can go anywhere. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Intercepted. Almost intercepted in the end zone. And you can see he made a great move here, anticipating the football and came up with a big defensive play. Five wide. He's got it with room to run. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. He stood in there that time against the Blitz. They were coming after him, but he showed the poise and was able to connect for a big gain. First and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Tackle at the two. This is the eighth play of this drive. the tight end he's got it touchdown a nice play as the offense gets it through the air yeah they've had some success in their short passing game so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. he splits the uprights with the extra point Down he goes at the 42-yard line. Boy, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He airs it out. Picked off. It's the cornerback. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. From their own 29-yard line, first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out in a hurry. That close to being intercepted. Quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. situation. Ball on the 45. He makes the catch and has a first down. And it's caught. Just under three to go in regulation. Catches it and that's all. That reception good for around four yards. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. He zips it. This one will fall incomplete. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 32. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Sack for a loss. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Just under two minutes in the game. Around the six yard line. And the end zone intercepted. I just don't think he saw the defender and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy, you get tunnel vision. From their own 20 yard line, it's first down. He's 
tackled around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. He makes it to the 28-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Makes it out to about the 36. Arkansas 35, LSU 17. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.